Recently, in the strict response to the coronavirus crisis, we saw examples of freedom versus tyranny on display. To paraphrase what a friend said, we have 50 real-world government examples of liberty or tyranny, 50 real-time experiments in whether state governments move towards liberty, as in Texas and South Dakota and Florida, or absolute control, as in California, Michigan, and New York. Nowhere can this contrast be better seen than in how the state authorities have been dealing with churches versus how they've been dealing with abortion facilities, ordering churches closed while deeming Planned Parenthood and other abortionists essential services. Wow, abortion is in, church is out. Many Christian legal groups have filed suit to get freedom for the churches, and in the vast majority of the cases, the churches won. The First Amendment is still intact in America despite the pandemic. Freedom-loving Americans can look at a map of the country and see how those on the left versus those on the right are delicately handling the crisis. The abortion-loving, church-hating politicians stand in great contrast with their freedom-loving counterparts in the red states. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newcomb.